What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing channel where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you can get notified of all the latest content on this channel. So let's get into this one. Um, so a few weeks ago now, I think it's about three weeks ago or so, um, you had the uh, Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley uh, card on um, Showtime, I believe it was, um, pay-per-view and all that. So, um, yeah, this is, this video here really is just a very quick one, and it's just a question really. Um, and that question is, was Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley a pay-per-view flop? Um, and the reason I asked that question is because... Um, with these guys like Jake Paul, you know, these these YouTubers and people of this nature, they make their money off of being trolls and sort of be, you know, winding people up, pulling pranks and being outlandish, showing off, uh, being braggadocious, bombastic. You know, these, these guys, everything for them is about showmanship. It's about showing off. It's about showing that I'm better than you. I can wind you up. I can take Floyd Mayweather's hat. And that's what type of guys these are. The, the, these guys are, you know, they're very rich. Very, they made loads of money off of uh, trolling and, and, the, and all the videos they do, the content that they do. So these guys, they're, sh they're guys that by nature, they're boisterous and they, they show off. And yeah, I've, I've been thinking of this now because with, with the... Um, you know the bold claims they were making beforehand doing millions you know how much money they make with their purse you know jake paul was showing off and saying to tyron you know oh you this is the biggest purse you're ever gonna get i make you your biggest payday he was saying he's donating his money to you know some money to boxers like i think amanda serrano he, he said he's gonna give her a few hundred grand or whatever it was for her you know on top of her purse and he was concerned about fighter pay and stuff like that which is that's fair enough that's that's a fair issue but um yeah with these type of guys they tend to show everything that they do they tend to show off about whatever they've got so i'm i was thinking to myself that does the fact that we haven't we still after let's say i think it's about three weeks now three weeks after the fight we still haven't heard what the pay-per-view numbers were for um, Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. And um, this is very uncharacteristic for these type of guys because I'm sure if, you know, Showtime done well, I'm sure they would publish the numbers or, or somebody or Jake Paul himself or whatever. If they done well, if they sold the, I don't know, one million pay-per-view buys or whatever um, they claimed that they were going to do, if they sold that many pay-per-views, surely um, there would be something out now. We would hear it from uh, Michael Benson or one of these guys who, who, who talks about the figures and brings out the pay-per-view numbers. But um, regarding this card, this fight, Woodley versus um, Paul or Paul versus Woodley, we've heard nothing. There's been no, no talk of numbers, um, you know, no talk of one million pay-per-view buys. There's, there's just been absolute silence. I mean... I know that both guys were paid a lot of money, but um, did they actually do very well at the box office? Did these millions of fans that um, Jake Paul's got actually buy the fight? Did they actually pay for the pay-per-view? Um, did they actually go to the fight? There would seem to be a lot of people at the fight, but is there is, for me at least, um, the fact that they, they haven't released any numbers means that... Um, maybe it didn't do as well as they thought it was going to do so yeah i think that that's just a thought there and i think um i don't know i think it would have done at least a few hundred thousand pay-per-view buys or whatever but i have a suspicion that it might not have been that it was not as successful as they thought i don't think it was anywhere close to a million pay-per-view buys or any high number because i reckon if it was a high number of pay-per-view buys, if they did do, you know, the, these millions of views or whatever, 
um, then I think they would have published it. That they would have come out. Jake Paul would have proudly come out and said, "Yeah, look, we've done two million buys or one million buys," but it, there's been nothing from him. So I suspect that this might have been a flop in terms of how much money they put into how much money they actually made out of it. And I think it. it I have a suspicion. I'm not a hundred percent, but I think it didn't do as well as as they projected, as they predicted. Um, with their large followings because it's one of those things where the social media thing you're following people on Instagram Twitter whatever and they could have millions of followers but it doesn't always translate into cash you know it doesn't always translate into people buying your product you know it, it, it in especially in terms of this pay-per-view stuff it doesn't always translate into the other so uh, you know it's one of them where I think it might have not been as successful as as they were hoping but um yeah let me let me know your your thoughts on that and i think what doesn't help as well is that um the the fact that you can easily illegally stream these fights and a lot of these fans of these guys they might be young kids who they don't have money to <laughs> to buy a pay-per-view to pay 80 dollars or whatever they were charging or 60 and they, and they probably just illegally stream it. So they, they might get a lot of viewing figures, but a lot of it might just be illegal streams in, in my opinion. But let me know your opinion on that. Do you think Jake Paul versus Woodley was a flop? And that's why they've kept their mouths shut regarding um, how well they've done. Or, or do you think it was a success? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, this is MKO Pugilism. Over and out. I'll catch you on the next one.